Hi there, my third grade friends. I'm excited to be with you today to talk some more about multiplying by seven. Yesterday, we talked about the strategy of thinking about a group of five and then thinking about a group of two. And so to help us put those um, together to multiply by seven. So today, we are going to continue practicing multiplying by seven and looking at it in a slightly different way. So today, we have some area models here at the top of the page. So you'll notice right here, I'm on this multiply by seven page, and we're going to look at each area model, area. I remember when we were talking about perimeter and area, that area is all this space inside, right? And in order to find area, we think length times width, okay? So I could count all of these square tiles, right, to find out the area. However, we are third graders and we have so many other strategies that we can use to help us. So yesterday, we looked at a page where we practiced looking at a group of five and then a group of two. So you could break this apart and find the area of this group of five and then find the group of two and you could find it that way you could count, you could use repeated addition, but let's think about our strategies. So for this first example, we need to figure out length times width. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, the page does say multiply by seven at the top, doesn't it? So that makes sense. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. So our equation is going to be seven times six, okay? We have seven groups of six. So to find that area, and you know you can always double check your work after you solve it. Think about the strategy we used yesterday by breaking it into the group of five and the group of two. You can solve it that way, you can, if you already know seven times six, but you're gonna build your equation and write your product in that last box. Don't forget, same thing here with number two. Let's see what the rest of the page looks like. Down here, we've got fill in the missing numbers. So I'm guessing, let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One in the middle. Okay, do these all look the same? Groups of seven. So this time we're thinking two groups of seven, okay? Two groups of seven. So this could be our two groups of seven, or this could be our two groups of seven. What would the answer be? What would the um, product be here? So on this one, you're just going to find your product. And same thing down here at the bottom. What's the missing number, okay? And we wanna make both sides equal, equivalent. Okay, all right, there's your work for today. Have fun, do your best, work on those sevens. I'll talk to you again soon. Off you go.